Let's get started. Most apps on the Wii, you can get and just simply get them up and get them running. For whatever reason, DOSBox, they decided that they were only going to give you a download link that takes you to a GitHub. Yada yada, you can't download nothing, okay? A bunch of make files and a bunch of hooby doos. So, unless you're savvy and you want to make it and compile it, go for it. Personally, I recommend you do it through the Homebrew browser. Okay, so extract all your files here. Zoop. Okay, homebrew browser. So this folder right here is what you want to put on your apps under your SD card. So let me go get that, put it in, and show you real quick. Okay, got the SD card in there. So under apps, we're going to put the homebrew browser all right homebrew browsers on there let's go boot up the Wii let's get some DOS box <laughs> so launch your homebrew and from there we're gonna launch up homebrew browser and download DOS box load it and it'll go through initialization phase dot dot <laughs> all right so once you're in here obviously DOSBox is an emulator we're gonna try this one again if it fails I'm gonna try the other one at least now I have a number 1.89 <laughs> you download this time stupid thing and I get a little blue thing and extracting okay I guess you have to reboot your Wii for this to work, which is really stupid. We have DOSBox. Uh, let's go back to the loader, or you can reboot either way, but that'll just take you back to the you know, homebrew uh, channel if you use that one. So there is the DOSBox. We're going to load it up. All right, and now we have our prompt. Okay, so DOSBox is up and running. I'm gonna eject out of this. Um, and we're gonna go to the computer and we're gonna get some games and how to configure DOSBox and we're gonna get to playing. Cool. Now, this temp folder will be created. It's got all the icons. That was where we were waiting on it to download. Apparently, that's what you need it you know, to complete before you can start downloading. Uh, and that DOSBox, you know, application, once you get it downloaded, um, uh, the homebrew browser, you know, you get it downloaded. Uh, then you can download DOSBox. This is your DOSBox uh, application folder. Now let's get a game. All right, so I pulled up one of my favorite games of all time. I mean, you don't have Gears of War. You don't have Call of Duty. You don't have any shooter you can think of. You don't have it. First person shooter. You don't have it unless there was a Wolfenstein. This is the first shooter, first person shooter I could remember as a kid. I think it was the first one ever. Great game. Awesome. It was uh, a way ahead of its time. It's just, and it's still a lot of fun today. So take your game, DOSBox game, however many you got, whatever you got, um, and then go to your SD card and run it. Uh, you're gonna have a folder here with DOSBox.com, and we'll take a look at this real quick. These are some of your default settings for CPU cycles and things like that. So it's a configuration file, and if you want to go to uh, full screen. You know, press Alt to enter. It gives you kind of a, you know, uh, rundown on how to run the menu, how to do some things. Okay, but these settings right here are some of the ones that you're going to look at for running the games that need a little bit more speed or a little bit less speed. Okay, well, there's a lot more than just that, but anything that's not commented out. Okay, so you have your DOS box section, you have your SDL section. Um, there's a bunch of sections in here. Uh, CPU is the one that you'll need to play around, like I said, to speed up some games, or you got some games that are running really slow. Um, so what I recommend, and this is an answer to one of the questions that came in about, you know, how come this game doesn't run that great, this sound is a little bit off, you know, things like that. 
Um, I would definitely try and run cycles at max, you know, um, <clears throat> and see how that goes. Play around with it. Go to town, you know, have fun with it. <laughs> Point is, guys, this is a trial and error, you know, not a straightforward kind of file. All these different sections and everything, you got to mess with it. You got to have fun with it and just try each one for each game. Uh, let's try Wolfenstein real quick. I'm going to leave all these as default settings and let's see how it plays. Oh crap, I'm actually recording. <laughs> Oops. Uh, need to turn my radio voice on. <clears throat> Booyah! Okay. The dulce box. Load it up. I think it already does exist. We just have to change to it. Ha ha. Suckers. Okay, so I have a Wolfenstein box or folder. Uh, one of the things you notice, <laughs> this is old school, like old school gamers, old school, okay? I mean, I remember playing this when I was like, phew, had to have been like 12 or 13. This is middle school, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, so you only get eight characters. So Wolfenstein 3D folder turns into Wolfen tilde one, okay? That's all you get. They take the first six letters and then tilde one. So, to launch the game, you want to uh, type CD once, and you just type W and then hit tab, you know, and it'll fill it out for you, okay? Uh, if you don't know your, you know, DOS commands, uh, you have to get familiar with them. <laughs> and then to launch the game, it's just the uh, name of the executable, and boom! So this is the Apogee version. Uh, there's all kind of versions out there. This is the original one from ID Software. Great game, a classic game. So. Press any key, um, enter key, I guess. Attention, uh, so hit enter. <laughs> Voluntarily rated, that's funny. Enter key, Wolfenstein 3D. Aw, oh, yeah. Not the WSD, is it the arrows? Yep, okay, so that's the arrows. Cool. And then, yep, space bars to open. Is it control? Yep, control is fire. Man, I remember this game. It was so much fun. And then when they finally got network play and you had modems back in the day, a lot of you guys are like, what's a modem? Google it. Okay, Wikipedia is your friend. Uh, but when we got modems, we started playing each other. Oh, it was game on. Uh, so the story is, it's World War II. You know, you're in Hitler's prison and... Uh, you go, oh. Get out of here. And yeah, better run. He ran at me. Oh yeah. Wow. Somebody shooting me. Where's that coming from? Oh. Boom. Anyway, guys. Uh, so this is Wolfenstein 3D. It is playing just fine. Um, let's go over some of the uh, changes. Say, for instance, you put in Wolfenstein 3D, and it's playing really slow. Okay. What you want to do is change the cycles on your conf, or you can hard code it, or you can set it to max and then use Control F11 and Control F12 to up and down the percentage of the CPU. I think it jumps by like 1% or 10%, something like that. But you can find out exactly where it works, you know, and then hard code it in uh, so that you don't have to do that every time. Uh, so let's go do that real quick, and then we'll probably call it a wrap. Do you want to update? No, I'm making a video. Go away. <laughs> Shoot. Can't get none done around here. Okay. So, enough of that. DOS box. Like I said, you want to change um, some of the variables in here and mess around. So, what you want to do is go down to CPU. That's what you're looking for. So, say you're playing a game. Wolfenstein. Okay. Let's go into cycles. Right. Let's change this to max. Okay. Now, when you change this to max, what you're going to be able to do is using the Control F11 and Control F12 changes cycles, uh, you know, by a small percentage. Okay. That way, you can see what the exact percentage is that needs to be used for that particular game. Some games run really slow, and you need to speed up the CPU uh, that's being used in DOSBox. Some of them run way too fast, and you got to slow it down because it's just way too hard. Let's take the disc out and we'll go to the Wii and play around the CPU cycles and see how it changed the gameplay. Get psyched. Okay, so. <clears throat> Let's 
Let's try and uh, slow it down. Let's see what normal looks like first. Okay, so this is normal, right? Running around, looking around. Don't need the hell. Okay, now let's try and slow her down a little bit. Control F11 a bunch of times. And now I get one frame every 10 seconds. <laughs> I like, okay, we need to speed it up. <laughs> control F12 a couple times. So control F12 a couple more times. Whoa! Everything is in speedy. Okay, good to know. You can't go over 100% because I was holding Control F12 just to see how high it would go. And yeah, this is as fast as it goes. So, pretty cool. So anyway guys, if you set your cycles to max, one of the cool things is you can adjust the CPU while in game. Very, very useful. So let's go play around with Aladdin and get some settings and see if we can get that bad boy to work. Boy, I tell you what, I ain't never been stumped like this before. I've been at this for a couple days now. <laughs> and uh, you know what? I'm gonna do something. Because normally, when I say I'm gonna do something, I was gonna do something. And when you put up there that you had issues running Aladdin, pretty optimistic that I could get it running fast. I tell you what, this thing whooped my behind. It was like watching middle school play the NFL. I have tried every combination of every option I can think of. I can't figure it out for the life of me. And um, uh, BMT was kind of out of it too. He's like, well, I'm not really a Wii specialist, that's you, so, you know. <laughs> so, of course, I got Aladdin loaded up, you know, put it in the SD uh, DOSBox folder. You know, I can go to, uh, the options here, you know, the music's playing. You can switch from keyboard to joystick. Um, you know, everything works, the game works. Uh, you can start the game. Um, you know, music's pretty decent. Sound effects are, you know, there's a little bit of stutter here and there, but not too bad overall. Uh, I'm actually using SVGA Paradise, but um, yeah, I've tried just about every combination of cycles, mem size, <clears throat> uh, <laughs> SDL, uh, different options, rendering different options, and this is it right here, folks. This is as best as I can get it. Yep, that's uh, that's not Neo in the Matrix. That's 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 about as good as I can get it. So everything plays, you know, it's it's okay, but yeah. So here goes. If anyone can send in their DOSBox conf for the Wii. And they can actually get this running. Ah, see, I can't even get that guy. And they can get this running, uh, you know, normal speed without all this lag. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna send you, uh, we'll do a $25 gift card, okay? And uh, that'll be just a nice little little sentiment, you know, for the community and for your time. Uh, I put in two days and I still can't figure this out. So, that's the deal. If you get Aladdin running on DOSBox for the Wii, I mean, obviously it runs on the PC. I tested on the PC with some settings and it was fine. Uh, but if you can get it running on the Wii <laughs> with, you know, normal settings, uh, well, not normal settings, but, you know, it's running, you know, smooth. It's not choppy and slow like this. Um, then yeah, old school gamers, we will send you a nice little gift card for your time as a prize. And um, uh, we'll send you back an email or in the comments, either way. And uh, we'll let you know that you won. And uh, then everyone can enjoy from this. And then I'll post the link and upload it <clears throat> so people can download it. Because uh, yeah, I put this through the ringer and I have not been able to get anything close nothing at all so a little uh disappointing uh but anyway let's see what the community can bring says uh 
old school gamers wasn't able to bring it this time. <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, this was a lot of fun. Um, you know, Aladdin is a great game, but uh, overall, DOSBox is really cool for the Wii. You can play all kind of stuff, like you saw Wolfenstein, they got Duke Nukem, um, you know, there's all kind of games, uh, Police Quest, you know, the old PC games, they're pretty cool. So give it a shot, uh, let us know if you have any questions, um, we'll try to answer them. I thought I knew a lot about DOSBox, apparently we don't. So we'll try to answer them, but uh, we do the best we can, right guys? Alright, till next time.